Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that because that hurts my throat. Yeah, hey everyone, this is Conflict 2009. I'm doing quite fine. And welcome back to Spotlight. Or welcome back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time through, we got to this monkey and he's like, Brrr. And in this episode, we're gonna see what he says. And we're also gonna try to enter the Deku temple that they keep talking about. Talk to him and be like, Oh, how did you get here? Shh, if they see you, they'll capture you. What? My brother asked for your help. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Just try to cut my rope. Well, we'll talk after that. What are you doing? Quick, cut this rope. Hmm, no good after all. Wait, you don't have to have something to make a lot of noise, like a lot of instrument with stuff that carries a long way. If you have one, show it to me. What you need to do is put on your mask, and then pull out your Deku pipes. Er, uh, I guess. I don't know. He'll be like, you, if you have one, show me! Well, you have to. We have to use it. Please, there's a like carry. Blare out a lot, a lot of sound that can carry a long way. Huh, that guy, where did he go? He'll be like, Oh, you have them! You do, just like the princess Deku pipes. Those will work great. By the way, who are you? It looks like Duck. The Deku King's like, who's over there? Whoa, that's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall, went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster slayer, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku thing. Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess. He won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? Uh, no. No, yeah, yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. So then, that means you will go in my place and save the princess? Link's like, I haven't done that before. Okay, now, I'll teach you the melee that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. Open your ears and listen hard. 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 Up, left, up, left, A, right, A. And let's try to do it like he does. Okay, then we'll just do it like that. Uh, well, so much for keeping it quiet, like. I just like this. Right here's the best part. Epic music plays. And look at the monkeys like, yeah, rock out, Link. And that's like how everybody's looking at Link. And Link's like, uh-oh, this isn't gonna end well for me. You learned this, and out of awakening, this melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku Royal family knows, it proves the foolish monkey to save the princess so we can enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence! And if that wasn't the punishment before, we're about to find out what it really is. You better take the shortcut the Deku people use to get to Woodfall Temple, but you must hurry! If you don't, I will be punished by the Deku King! Uh, that he will. And I don't want to have to see that, at least until we get back. So what we need to do now okay, is climb up here and um, go through this. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. What, what you do is you're going to see these two dragonflies. These are dragonflies. She'll be like, Tao will be like, as long as you stay away from its tail, it's no big danger. They will come over here. But they're not going to really bother you as long as you just stay out of their rage. But what we're going to do is we're going to shoot them down right here, because... Ow. Got electrocuted. Take that, jerk. Aw, oh, no heart. He doesn't love me. Alright. Here's what we need to do. We need to fly over here. And in a minute, you're about to see my worst nightmare. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure everybody's. Because it wouldn't be a game, a Legend of Zelda game on the N64 if... guy wasn't in the game. Ooh, 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 this is a rare sight. You are a fairy child, correct? What business might you have at this point? Since what? what business do you have here, bud? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass so judgment. It's better that you hurry back to town. Who are you telling me what to do? This swamp you are in has lost its guardian died, but it was destined to fade anyway. Ooh, ooh, and that destiny is not solely limited to the swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear close resemblance to me, I have placed those throughout the land to aid one with the power to change the destiny of this land, wherever he may appear. 
you have enough proof of fire counter on any of those stints, the juice that the sod covered in my feet will certainly be some assistance. Remember it well and play it whenever you need it, Rises. From the first time you play this, I wish you become eternal friends. Tristanic time and place. We were never friends in the last game. And we're never gonna be. But this time, he actually does become useful for once. Because he has this song that says, Notes are carved in the stone. Looks like, get out, Ocarina. May the soaring wings take flight. These are, this is a very useful song. This is the song of soaring. This is a very useful song. You're about to find out why in a couple minutes, because I'm going to need to use it to get something. But basically, what you need to do, what this song does, is this melody swoops you up and sends you soaring to a stone bird statue in an instant. Basically, what it means is it allows you to warp to any of those stone statues. For example, like if we wanted to warp to the one in Clock Town, all we have to do is play this song, and it would warp us there directly. So if we needed to go back to Clock Town, we could do that. But we're going to need to warp back to the Southern Swap one in a second. But here is where we needed to get to. This is Woodfall. This is the area that the monkey and the Deku Princess came to. As you can see, it's completely poisoned water here. There's not even a trace of anything. Um, as you've guessed, if you step in that water as Link, you'll take damage. What you want to do is skip across is Deku Link. Um, get this chest, you get 20 rubies. Just in the middle, all you have to do is just skip across like one platform. Um, there's a piece of heart in that chest over there, and... Wow, I thought for a second there was, like, a dragonfly right in front of me in that. Kind of creepy. Um, these things, these are, what are they? Yeah, they're hip loops. They're hot-headed. All you have to do is just blow a bubble right in their face. Twice. And that kills them. They'll disappear. And there's... Come on, turn around. Charge! <laughs> blow right in his face. There are mad Deku scrubs running around here. So I don't know if these guys are palace or the temple guardians or they're just crazy dudes. Let's bomb them from midair. There should be one more. Yep. We're just gonna attack them like that. Um. Let's see. This is the little stone. This is the little platform we need to get to. When we get to it, Tao will be like, "Isn't this the Deku scrub mark? I wonder if they worshipped here." What you need to do right here is play, play the sound of awakening. Okay, I know my voice sounds really bad. At least, you know, I'm not tone deaf or anything, because I did take, and, you know, like, I know about music, because I did play, in high school, I did play, like, alto sax. So I do know, like, some music. I know notes and stuff. Wonder if maybe I should get out my saxophone one day and play some of these songs. It'd be kind of cool. My brother on his like he plays percussion. He can play on uh, xylophone. He can play like the saga time like perfectly. It's really cool. Um, this is Woodfall Temple right here. This is where we needed to get to, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Oh wait, no. What we want to do is get out this. Now we can warp back here. Good thing I remember that now, because it would have sucked if I had. I would have had to do all this again. Uh, let's see. Let's. Okay, gets rid of him. Um, right there, if you notice, that is the great fairy. Um, of this area. As remember how the wanted clock town. She mentioned she was like, I'm the great fairy of this place. He's like, bring it on. I like how he was just like, bring it on. He's like saying, bring it on. And he like didn't even do it. And oh no. Oh, I don't even know how I avoided him. Die. Down with your ship. Uh, let's see. Let's kill. Didn't really need to. Let's just open this chest. Let's just leave him. He's like looking at me. Hudling's like, HIDE! <laughs> I just like how he's like just standing there right next to me like that. And we got another piece of heart. And now we kill him. Uh, what we want to do now is play the Saga Soaring for the first time. And what we're going to do is we're going to warp back to the Southern Swap now that we have the Pictobox. I 
because there was. Remember how that guy was like, show me a picture? Well, we're going to do that, but we're going to show him one that is actually outside the swap. Because, well, duh. It's kind of... This is... You're going to figure out... If you haven't guessed how he mentioned how he was like, this is... Seeing, searching... He has no right to be searching for fairies. We're about... You're about to discover something that I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably had guessed. If you're wondering, as we leave the southern swap, just for a second... We're coming back. What we need to do is shoot down Tingle. And yes, Tingle is his son. At age 35, is still searching for fairies. Kind of pathetic, but at least he believes in them. So he's basically the Denzel Crocker from Fairly Odd Parents in this game. He believes in fairies! And no, I don't really. I just remember that when I was younger. And what you need to do is get a full picture shot of him. Hopefully. Please tell me he'll take that. And now all we have to do is go back to the um, swap guy. Hopefully he'll take it. Um, if you don't do a perfect shot, basically, he will say, This isn't good. Like, you didn't take this It's out in the swap. I can't accept this. But if you do, he will. Let's see. Come on, please tell me he takes it. Talk to him and be like, Well then, why don't you show me the picture graph? I'd be like, huh? You didn't take this? What? You jerk! I did! I took a picture of your son! Uh, he'll give you a piece of heart if you get a picture of Tingle or a picture of the Deku King. So, let's try this again. Okay, now that we're back here, let's see. Will you let? Will you please take it this time? Oh man, it, it better be this. What? That's my son! Yeesh! What is he doing in that sort of thing? Oh, how humiliating! This guy, he's my son! As old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him. But he really is a kind-hearted boy. Aw, well thank you for going through to all that trouble. This is just a small token of my gratitude. He'll give us a piece of heart. We need one more. But how, could you tell my son something for me? Could you tell him, uh, please ask him, do not go outside of that outfit anymore? Oh my gosh. Um, oh yeah, now that we, I forgot, we left the boat in Deku House. Let's see what Kuba say. If you're going on the boat cruise, buy your ticket here. Um, adults, 50, children, 10 rubies, group discounts for 15 or more. Shh, so you're gonna cruise? No. Well then, come and see me. Uh, I like how the boat's just in the middle of the Deku Palace, though. It's still sitting there. But now we're gonna warp back. Come on. Wow, we're actually getting pretty decent amount of stuff done. Like, let's see. Let's warp to Woodfall now. And yeah, it's been. But getting back, I remember how I mentioned it in the last spotlight. Just how it's like been so hard for me to record, guys. It really has been. Like, it's been really annoying for me. And I'm pretty sure it's been annoying for you guys. How you, I haven't been able to do it. Because believe me, I mean, I really want to do them. And that's why I want the Hawpog right now. I'm still using the Pinnacle Video Transfer. This thing sucks. I know Chugga mentioned to me just to go get a Dazzle. But I was like, I don't know if I want to get a Dazzle for like only $100 more. I could get great quality. And it's just it's just so frustrating. And it's like Sony Vegas, the movie student, won't let you have unlimited video tracks. It's like, ugh. But enough about my problems now. We're going to go into Link's problems. This is Woodfall. This is the first um, dungeon of the game. There's a fairy right there. What you need to do for this first part is just um, use this uh, Deku flower. But hit this. You can hit this beehive. Um, there are 15 stray fairies in each temple. As you can see, there's one right there in front of us. The great fairies mask will help you if they're out of reach. There's one in this chest right here, I know. Yep. There's one right there. But, as I can see, I'm probably getting close to my time limit. So, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I'm just going to get this other fairy. And she'll be like, there's two. Yeah, two out of 15. They're really, really here. But, like I just said, I'm probably getting close to my time limit. So, next time I'm just out of the bus. We are going to continue with one temple. And we'll do the middle of it, alright? See you guys at us. I'm pretty sure this is about as late as us right now.